Hey gang, let's do a little bit of a review of some of the key aspects of mobility. First, I want you to find all the acronyms that are here in this section of the diagram and uh, essentially flesh those out. Tell me, what are those acronyms short for? Pause, and then we'll go through it together. All right, so what do we see? We've got a switch peer group. We have a mobility anchor uh, in some of our wireless LAN controller modules, or wireless, yeah, wireless controller modules. And we have mobility controller. That's defined on one of those wireless LAN controller modules. We have the point of presence. And then we have the point of access. Now, when it comes to connectivity, uh, again, we've got the idea that we have our wireless LAN controllers or control modules, and those wireless LAN controllers are being managed all together inside of a mobility domain. And then we have, a, of course, our devices within a mobility group. So my question for you is, what makes a switch peer group, this object here, what makes that different as kind of the next level down underneath mobility group? What is unique about the way that these devices are going to connect to each other? Pause, and then we'll discuss it. All right, the key thing is that wireless LAN controllers in a mobility group in a, let's say, centralized rather than converged environment will enable roaming. But the way that roaming occurs is based upon, of course, establishing these uh, CAPWAP tunnels that are necessary in order to uh, establish a way to move the traffic correctly so that it leaves the right controller. Those are established on demand in a mobility group. But with a switch peer group, those CAPWAP tunnels are going to be built automatically. All right, those are automatically pre-built. So therefore, our client traffic is actually going to move that much faster, isn't it? Because it doesn't need to wait for the CAPWAP tunnel to be established in order to allow for mobility, in order to allow for roaming. Instead, it just happens right through the tunnel that's already been built inside that switch peer group. Uh, again, each one of these switches, don't forget, could represent a stack of switches in some cases. Now, when we talk about the point of presence or the point of access, we can also talk about the foreign and anchor controllers. Now, I want you to uh, tell me, uh, what do we associate with what? So, in other words, the anchor controller and the foreign controller are associated with what, uh, what key concepts, point of presence or point of access. Kind of connect those two to each other. Pause, and then we'll discuss it. All right, so when a client gets initially attached to a uh, attached to one of these devices, uh, what we're going to see is that they've connected to an access point, which connects them to the wireless LAN controller. And that initial wireless con LAN controller is the point of presence, and it is the point of access. And at this point, it is also going to be referenced as the anchor controller, because this is what I initially connected to. Now, when this device roams over here, right, and is now associated with this third access point, which is associated with this third controller, which is a mobility agent associated with the same mobility controller that's a part of the same switch peer group and the same mobility group and the same mobility domain, this new controller is going to define a new point of access, right? So what is the client's point of access? The client's point of access is this controller here, which means now we will need to have a CAPWAP tunnel established between these two, which of course will be automatic because we already have a switch peer group. And now the client's point of access moves through this physical controller uh, and control module into the initial point of contact. So what do we do? We've now been associated with a foreign controller right? It's a new controller, it's foreign, but now we need to work back to our anchor controller so that we can have consistency and we can maintain sessions, we can have the same IP address, all of those things are associated together. So the foreign controller 
is now associated with the fact that we have a new point of access. So tie these two things together, foreign controller and point of access, anchor controller and point of presence. Keep those two things together and it will help to make sense out of the whole process of roaming with our wireless LAN controller and control modules. Great job.